everybody welcome back to another video and hi if you're new here i'm melissa and i make fashion booty and lifestyle videos here on this channel today's gonna be more of a lifestyle video this closet right behind me it needs some help it needs some serious tlc i'm gonna show you clips in a second of what it looks like but we have to organize it today i have to build some organization i have to get bins do all of that so let's jump right into the organizing So this is what the closet looked like beforehand. From the bottom of the floor to the top, top shelf, this thing was packed. This is kind of where we put everything when we didn't know where to put it. So <laughs> this closet got out of hand really fast, as you could imagine, and it never really had any organization. And to be honest, when we got this unit, I thought there was going to be shelves there, which I was going to organize with, but then there turned out to be no shelves and it really threw off my plan and I, I never got to it. But now is the time. There's no time like the present. So I needed to start by taking everything out of here. So all the cleaning supplies that I can barely reach and I have bins of stuff that I started packing already. I know I'm really early. And there was so much stuff in here that just needed to be out of the closet anyway, like my workout equipment and all those extra bins that I wasn't utilizing and just so much random stuff in there. So I just wanted to make this into a cleaning closet because as you guys know, clearly from this video, I'm trying to be more proactive with cleaning and making sure things don't get out of hand as fast. And look at everything that fit into that little linen closet, or I guess it's not a linen closet because there's no shelves, but that little storage closet, all of that stuff fit in there. And there was a ton of tumbleweeds of Buddy's hair that were under there because I couldn't get to them vacuuming before. And now I can, easy peasy. So we went to Ikea. Well, actually I was shopping online at Ikea and I saw this really affordable and kind of like lightweight shelving system. So that's what I wanted to put in there because in our old apartment, we had these huge metal like storage units from Ikea, but they were just like really intense and they were more suited for like garages or outdoors or something because they were so heavy duty. And I wanted something a little bit lighter and a little bit less aggressive looking <laughs> in the closet. And I also, it was important to me that they had shelves, like not wire shelves so things could fall through, but like actual solid shelves. So here's the name of it, the Ekinobin. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that but yeah it's just a simple shelving unit and the only thing that was restricting me was the height of the storage unit it couldn't be so high that it didn't fit under the shelf so anyway this was like a kind of like a dainty shelving unit but still pretty sturdy and I'm so glad that we got this one one because it's like super light and bright because it's like that light unfinished wood and then just white shelves but also when we move it's going to be so easy to just move this piece and everything's already going to be organized on it so i can just get one of my like clear storage bins throw all the cleaning supplies in there and then when i put the cleaning supplies away at our new place it's going to be so unbelievably easy to just keep everything clean but i got tired of putting the unit together so i took a break to look at my beautiful puppy and then have nick do the rest <laughs> So he was instrumental in getting this project done on time. He was able to pause his own work and help me. So thank you, Nick. That was really sweet of you. I will say though, if you need a storage unit with shelves like this one, this one was so easy to put together and all the pieces were really lightweight. It's not going to hold like super, super heavy duty things like weights and all that stuff. But for a cleaning closet, this thing is wonderful. And I'm pretty sure this is for outdoors. I think in the picture on Ikea, this unit was like meant to be like an outdoor piece. I don't even know. We're using it inside. That's all I know. But here's the completed shelving unit. It looks so clean and simple. And then on to organizing. So I got a pack of eight clear bins from Amazon and they were actually pretty affordable. So, I mean, it is kind of a big investment at first. I think it was like $64 for eight bins, but that's all the bins that I needed for this unit. So I ended up working out perfectly and that's the best price I've found on the clear acrylic bins out there. So I'm gonna make sure I link those down below for you guys in case you want to organize with these clear bins too, because that is honestly the best deal I found yet. And then one of my favorites, these are little acrylic drawers, I guess you would call them from Amazon and they're made in the USA so it's kind of cool that the acrylic pieces don't have to travel like very far to get to me but now it's time to fill up the closet and this is honestly my favorite part because I'm only putting in pieces that I actually need in the closet and this is my preferred way to organize like only bringing back in what actually is going to stay there so I put in my spot cleaner so we have easy access that bag that I was just touching is actually my beach bag it's really the only place that I could put it 
And then I also have this bag up there all the way to the left, which was for wrapping paper that I ended up not needing this season. And then I also put my reusable bags up at the top right for when I get groceries out, but I needed to fill up the drawers now. And this top shelf, I'm putting in all the accessories for our robot vacuum and our shark mop thing that we have. So those are like the little mop pads that we use. And then we have a bunch of little accessories that you sometimes need to repair the vacuum with. So we have like little filters and little scrubby brushes, everything we need. And I'm putting all this stuff on the top shelf. Realistically, I probably should have put it on a lower shelf because we don't need all of this stuff daily. This is something we use like weekly or monthly. So as with all organizational systems that you put into your home, you really want it to be customized to you and work for your lifestyle. So I might end up switching the shelf down like a couple shelves later on after we've used the cleaning closet for a little bit and I realize what I actually want to go there. But then I have these little scrubby brushes that I use to like scrub the grout in the shower and I just put them up there because I figured it was the best place for them to be. But yeah, the contents of these shelves could change around and I'm really just trying to find what will work best for us and things that we grab most frequently to make this like really convenient because that's the goal, right? To have like a super convenient spot for me to get all my cleaning supplies and get the job done. But I'm making separate sections for kind of like related things. So I'm going to have one bin for all of our bathroom scrubby items like our toilet scrubs and then the middle one has like the actual scrubbing products and then on the left honestly I didn't really know where to put all this stuff but I have gloves on the left and I'm just going to be putting a hodgepodge of all of our cleaning supplies together and seeing what works and for things like my Swiffer duster pads that I have in my hand right now I don't even know if you could see them yeah <laughs> they're getting their own bin because that's something that I use literally every week and I need to have them on hand because our apartment gets dusty. And oh my God, those SOS pads, Sunny almost grabbed one. Oh, it was while I was building the unit because I had all the stuff on the floor. I forgot that he's still a baby. And so this is just a reminder, if you have a puppy, do not let them near any of your cleaning supplies. He's okay, everything's fine, nothing happened. But <laughs> I was so worried for a second. I also forgot to mention that when I was getting a shelving unit at Ikea, I needed something that wasn't as wide as our closet because I wanna put all of our other cleaning appliances, I guess you could call them in there. So like I want our vacuum to go in this closet and our mops and brooms and stuff. So I needed to leave space on the side for super easy access, but now I'm putting in all like my spray cleaners, which I don't really know what to do with. I ended up moving this all around in a second anyway. So, but yes, here is the vacuum going in and I got these little command strips. So this is really renter friendly in case you're renting or just don't wanna put holes in your home. I got these command strips that actually hold brooms. So you put it on the wall and you just press your broom into the little hook part and it holds your broom for you. It's so convenient and when you go to pull your broom out, it's gonna pop out that little, whatever that's called, the little rubber. And then when you go to put it away, you just push it back in. So it's super convenient, super easy. I didn't align them perfectly. The top one is up a little higher and that's because my broom is a little bit longer than my shower scrubby brush things. So in case you see them not all level, don't worry, it was for a reason. <laughs> And now time to restock even more. Unfortunately, we accidentally bought two different like toilet wand systems, like ones from Clorox and ones from, I think, scrubbing bubbles or whatever. So we have two different systems going right now. We need to like use up one and get back to the other because having like multiple kinds of toilet scrubbies is really confusing when they look almost identical, but don't fit. But I noticed I should probably have my sprays and cleaners up top and like my toilet stuff down lower just for ease of use because I also needed my trash bags to be up higher because we grab those so frequently. But now it's time for the grand reveal. And just to jog your memory really fast, here is a flashback of what we started with chaotic, messy, out of control, things that didn't belong were in here and my cleaning supplies were really hard to get to because I'm short and they were all the way up at the top. So this is what we were working with, the absolute chaos. Can I take this and this and give you a clean, organized closet. Don't we just love it? Oh my goodness. And if you got that reference, you're an OG and I love you. Everything now has a home. Everything is happy where it's supposed to be. And at that bottom right, right there, I had a little thing called a catchy and it's supposed to catch bugs. And it was a recommendation from another YouTuber and I didn't really love it. It didn't really work for me, but I figured I'd mention it in case you were looking at it. It's not worth it, but look how beautiful and organized. It's gonna be so easy to grab and go. And the good thing is, Nick will know where everything is and he can put things away and clean whenever he needs to to help me out a little bit. Now, if only I could train the dogs how to go in here and clean up their messes, that would be lovely. 
but I'm just showing you in depth everything that's in the drawers in case you were nosy because we all know I'm nosy too. I totally understand. <laughs> all the things on the left are like my mop attachments and then we have carpet cleaners and kind of like smell good things in that one. Here's all of my sprays for cleaning, all of my trash bags, easy to access. And then the bottom again is just more cleaning supplies, pretty standard like sanitary wipes and vinegar and toilet scrubbies and all of that good stuff. But that is it. I took all of this out of the closet. So this was a ton of different bins and baskets that weren't really being utilized well. Some extra drawer liner and some gym equipment that I'm going to be putting in a different location. I'm going to be giving what I don't need of these to my sister. Those are shoes for upcoming haul, so ignore those. But we are all done. All right, you guys, that is it. We have finished organizing everything and there's some more organization down there it is such an improvement from what it looked like before it is so functional now i can actually get to my cleaning supplies before our cleaning supplies were in random bins and they were all stacked on top of each other and it was a pain to clean anything but thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video bye